Hey, hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Cool Eagle back here on the video, man. Um, I'm making this video abruptly, man, making me some breakfast right now, man, and uh hopefully I don't burn this bacon, but Doug Peterson is gone. Wow, man. I like I just received the alert, like a lot of you, man. Um honestly I'm not surprised because I made a video about it, man, saying that Doug Peterson would be the fall guy, if not Jim Swartz. But both of them are gone. Did not expect that, man. Uh, I'm curious to hear a lot of you guys' thoughts, man. Um, honestly, if you fire Doug Peterson, it really wouldn't make too much of a difference just because Harry Roseman is still there, you know? Um, dude, I'm, I'm just slapping at you right now, and I gotta get back to my breakfast, man. I just have to, wow. Like, I'm curious to hear you guys' thoughts right now. Doug Peterson is officially gone after three years. I know a lot of people and analysts say that, you know, he won your Super Bowl and got to the playoffs for three consecutive years after that. Um, it probably was short of another NFC Championship game if Alshon Jeffrey did not drop that ball and would have probably went to another NFC Championship if Carson Wentz wouldn't have gotten knocked out of that playoff game last year in 2019. Um, because if Carson Wentz wins that game, okay, he goes on to play Green Bay, a team that he's already beaten, and then you're probably looking like, like, like another NFC Championship game, okay? Uh, with a backup practice squad of receivers, okay? So, uh, right, yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, so right now, Doug Peterson is gone. I'm sorry, flipping bacon right now, here, as you guys can see that. Um, yeah, so Doug is gone, man. He's gone. So now we got to talk about potential head coaching uh, vacancies, offensive coordinator vacancies, quarterback coach vacancies, because Press Taylor is definitely going to be gone after the season. I don't see how you keep his ass and the rest of the offensive staff, and then the Vista, like, there's a lot of rebuilding on this team that we're going to have to talk about going into this offseason, and it's just going to be, wow, like, like there's going to be a lot to talk about, and I'm curious to hear you guys' thoughts in the comments, man, let me know.